And hello again, it's Daniel. I'm the founder of Daniel Skating School and Skate Shop and I would like to welcome you to the next video of my inline know-how series. In the past I received many messages and questions about wheels and bearings for inline skates. For example, what kind and size of wheels are most suited for me? Or what kind of bearings exist on the market and which one is the best? And for that reason I thought it's time to make a video about it. And here it is. First let's take a look at the properties of wheels. There are very large wheels, there are larger wheels, there are small wheels and smaller wheels. So normally wheels have two important properties. First the diameter of wheels specified in millimeter and the hardness of wheels specified in the number of A. Well, the letter A specified the shore hardness, named after Albert Ferdinand Schorr. Good, let's take a look at the materials of wheels. They are consist of urethanes. The rubber mixture. In the middle of the wheel we have the core, consists of a harder rubber mixture. And the harder mixture of the core is needed for fixing the bearings. But remember, larger wheels used for fitness skates or speed skates have spokes and axes in the middle. Next, if you already bought some wheels for your skates, you will remember there are many different wheel sizes. This aggressive wheel has a size of 60mm, but there are still smaller wheels like 50mm wheels or larger ones like 110mm or 125mm wheels. The wheel hardness varies from about 65A to 110A, but a hardness from 100A or higher is normally used for grind wheels only. Good and now pay attention, before you buy new wheels, go sure the wheel size fits into your frame. For example, my frame is an anti-rocker frame, and it's made for a maximum wheel size of 60mm. Well, that's all I have to say about wheels. But there aren't just wheels, there are also bearings. And they are based on the international standards. Type 608 and Type 688. However, the Type 608 is almost always used. I myself have never seen any inline skates or inline wheels with the Type 688. Well, the difference. Type 608 and Type 688 only differ in the diameter and size. Well, however, the most used bearing is a Type 608. And that means every bearing fits into every reel, whether you use aggressive reels, freestyle reels or speed reels. Ok, before we take a detailed look at the bearings, let's talk about the reel size and hardness that is most suited for you. First we take a look at advantages and disadvantages of wheel sizes. The larger the wheels, the faster we are, but the larger the wheels, the worse our maneuverability and our personal safety is. On larger wheels we skate shakier than on smaller wheels. On smaller wheels we have a better control and we are more agile. That means, to skate from A to B, you should use larger wheels. Smaller wheels are most suited for doing tricks. Good, let's take a look at the hardness of wheels. The softer the wheels, the better the grip on the ground. A better grip means we have a greater friction. But the higher the friction, the more we will slow down. But hey, the better the grip, the less the risk to slip off. And when we do high jumps, we land slightly softer. But that's not all. Softer wheels are also better for smooth out, uneven places and streets. Lastly, keep in mind, the softer the wheel, the greater the wear on your wheels. That means you should avoid doing a T-stop with soft wheels. Using harder wheels is exactly the opposite. That means we have a lower friction and it's more difficult to smooth out uneven places and streets. But we have a better control, a better transmission and a lower wear on wheels. We also have a lower friction and the lower the friction, the less we will slow down. However, keep in mind, how fast you will be able to skate is not only related to the properties of wheels. It's also related to your personal fitness, as well as the bearings you have put it into your wheels. Good. When you think about bearings, maybe you will immediately remember the abbreviation ABAC. ABAC is the designation for the precision of processing. The better the processing precision, the faster they are, and the better the durability. So the number of ABEC starts from run and ends by 11. The higher the number, the better the bearings. But anyway, the highest standard for skates is ABEC 9. But remember, the quality not only depends on the ABEC, it also depends on the quality of the used steel, 
as well as on the workmanship, or is it good prevented from becoming dirty very quickly? Next to the ABEC there are the ILQ, inline qualified bearings, from the company Twincam. This bearing just have 6 instead of 7 balls inside the bearing. In my opinion, the run missing ball makes no difference for skating, and the quality and running characteristics of ILQ bearings are very good. So let's have a close look at the construction of a bearing. There is an outer ring, an inner ring and a hole in the middle is for the screw. Between the outer and inner ring is the cage. The cage contains the small balls of the bearing. If you have bearings with a removable cap, not all bearings have that, you are able to open the bearing. And I always recommend to buy bearings with a removable cap or others which are closed tightly and prevented from becoming dirty very quickly. To open the bearing with a removable cap, we use a small pin. It's one of the best tools to remove the small cap of the bearings. For that, just put the pin into the bearing and pull out the protective cap. And as you can see, here we have the bearing with the small balls. As you can see, the small balls have been shifted, because we have removed the protective cap. This bearing has a protective cap with a bone or labyrinth structure. So if you put back the cap on the bearing, our balls will be shifted to their correct positions. Well, if you are already bought new bearings, you maybe know. There are three different kinds of bearings. The first and standard kind of bearings consists of steel, chrome steel or titanium. The second kind of bearings consists of ceramic. And the third one are hybrid bearings. They consist of steel and ceramic. But what are the advantages and disadvantages of the different materials? The standard one consists of steel or chrome steel. And steel is a softer material than ceramic. That means the bearings break faster, especially when often doing high jumps. But anyway, they have a high durability and they are the most cheap bearings of the international market. Unfortunately, steel bearings can rust. For that reason, avoid skating on red places and crowns. And you should also store your bearings or skates in a dry place, not in a red room like a garage or somewhere outside. Lastly, the surface structure is not as smooth as the surface of ceramic. That means the precision of the steel bearing is a little more bad. The three are the advantages of ceramic bearings. Ceramic is a non-metallic material, so it cannot rust. The surface structure is more smooth, so we will be able to skate a little bit faster. And they also have a higher durability. But they are the most expensive bearings on the international market. Finally, there are the hybrid bearings. Hybrids have an outer and an inner ring which consists of steel or chrome steel. But the small balls in the inner of the bearing consist of ceramic. For that reason we have the advantage of a higher speed and also a higher durability because of the hardness of ceramic. The disadvantage? They can rust anyway because of the steel rings. So buying hybrid bearings is a well priced option to ceramic only. They just need a little bit more time for maintenance. Let's summarize. First. Full steel bearings are good and cheap. Hybrid bearings are faster, but they need the same amount of time for maintenance, because they can also rust. And last, full ceramic bearings are the most expensive bearings, but they are very fast, they have a higher durability and can rust. Ok, wait, right. I forgot the most special bearings on the international market. The bone Swiss bearings. They are produced specially and they are the most famous bearings in the US. Due to their special construction, they do not have a number of ABIC. They have their own special precision of processing. They are the most popular bearings, but they also are the most expensive bearings. Ok, well done! We have reached the end of this video. In another video I'll show you the perfect cleaning of your bearings. For that, just click the video button you will see in the outro. And now I wish you a fun time. Enjoy shopping your new reels and bearings. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we will see us in the next video.